Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and change your video output on safe mode. So let's just start off and don't waste any more time. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your PS5 is completely turned off. And what you want to do is just hold on the PS button. Not hold on, just press on the PS button. This is not the PS4 basically. So now just turn off. And make sure you don't go to rest mode. Turn it off like this, or just go on the PS button over there and just turn it off like that. And now, let's just wait. And now, you also want to make sure that your PS5 is not blinking anymore. So, if you still see it blinking like this, you just want to wait till it completely stops. And also guys, if you see a yellow light or an orange light, it means that it's in rest mode. So you wanna make sure that it's completely turned off. So what you can basically do is try to turn it off again or just turn off rest mode by going to settings, system, and going to rest mode settings. And that was, I think, the last option. So you can go there and just turn it completely off. So now let's go to the second step. So going on step two, this is quite important to know guys, what you want to do is you just want to hold on the power button. So let's do that. That's one beep and we want to wait for the second beep. And that was the second beep. Now you can stop holding. Now what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and go to our monitor or PC, go down to here and let's switch HDMI. Now let's get our little thing. So now it success, uh, successfully worked. And if it doesn't work guys, like I said, you might have your game capture card co uh, connected. So if you have like a game capture card guys that you ha have connected with your PS5, you have to plug it out. So what you have to do basically is you have to get a HDMI that is directly connected with your monitor or TV. And also guys, don't use switches. Things like if you don't have enough HDMI that you maybe use like a switch or something like that, don't use it. Like I said, get the HDMI directly connected to your monitor or TV. Also guys, make sure that you have turned off rest mode. And yeah, I think that's basically it that you have to know. Now let's just go ahead and go to here, PS, press on the PS button and also connect your controller with your PS5 using the USB cable like it says over here. Now once you press on the PSM button, you can go to change video output over here. Click on that. And also guys, you can only control with these. You can go ahead and change resolution or you can change it to HDCP, I can't even pronounce it, but never mind, you can do these both. So, for example, like I said, guys, if you have a game capture card and you have some issues with it, and you maybe might or something like that enabled HDCP modes on, you can just go ahead and go to here and change it. You can also go to change resolution and stuff like that. So, if you have some problems with your resolution, you just go to here, or if it doesn't open up, and you also go to HDCP if you have some problems, if you turn it on accidentally or something like that, and your monitor or TV isn't showing up anymore. That actually happened to me, and you can actually go to here. So these are two options. I'm gonna choose this one for right now, but let's just say that this one didn't help you. What you also can do is just go to the second option that I showed you guys, HDCP mode, and yeah. So now you will see this. So like you see, my monitor is a 1440 display, but uh, right now the PlayStation doesn't support that right now. So I can also just select 1080p, but there's no problem at all. So let's just go ahead and select 1080p. And if you cannot move, basically turn on your PSN, just click on your PSN button and now you can just select. So let's do 1080p and guys, if you have better, like if you have 4K, just select 4K and you can also go to automatic. So you can also try to get automatic if you still have problems on your display. So I will recommend you guys to get this. And this could actually fix up your problems. 
and now you can just log in guys that's how simple it is now you can just play and yeah your resolution is also fixed you can also go to settings and also fix your resolution on here screen and video and then going to video output adjust HDR let's go to screen language yeah there's like a lot of options so here we have resolution like you said is automatic but I'm gonna show you HDCP mode and that's gonna be over here system so once you go over here and HDMI you can actually go to enable HDCP so if you have a problem with this guys and just because of this annoying little light it doesn't show it so let me remove it like you see guys you can actually just turn it on or off so once i turn it on what will sometimes happens is it actually doesn't show me my screen so that can actually happen and maybe it will just glitch out and show anything at all so this is basically the video guys this is how you can go ahead and adjust your video output settings on safe mode on the ps5 so i hope you enjoyed it if you want to add me here's my name just Kiri, you can also add me on Twitter and Instagram, link in the description. It will be really kind of you if you could maybe like and subscribe. That will actually support me so I can make more videos to help more people out. So thank you very much and take care.